A good Shopware theme makes the difference regarding your conversion. But how to install a theme and how to change some basic styling? In this tutorial, I will show you how it works. Have fun! Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Alex Senna from Shop Studio. And the today's goal is to install a basic Shopware theme and to apply some basic styling. I have picked a well-known Shopware theme from the store it's called the Manu theme by Digital Manufacturer. And yeah, basically this is our example theme for today. So the first thing you have to do, of course, is to add this, in this case, free theme to the shopping cart. Then we switch to the Shopware administration. Okay, I have bought the theme and now I'm in the shopper administration. And the first thing we need to do is to install the theme. To install a new theme, we have to go to the extensions, then to my extensions. Then we go to this tab here, themes. And here we go. We can see the Manu theme by Digital Manufacturer. But the installation always needs two parts. First, we have to install the app, the name is a bit weird in this case. And afterwards, we have to click on activate. Perfect. We have installed and activated the theme. Now let's take a look on the storefront. If we go to the storefront and we refresh the page, we still can see the default storefront theme. This is because after installing and activating the theme, you need to assign the theme to a specific sales channel. Remember that in Shopware it's possible to have multiple sales channels for your, for example, different brands and stores, and each sales channel can have a different theme. We have to go to the sales channel, in this case, this is the storefront. And now you can see some tabs, and there's one tab called theme. We click on it. And now we click on the button change theme. Here we can pick two themes. We have the choice between the Manu theme, the new one and the default one, which is currently active. You can see this green dot here. This means that this is the yeah, current active theme basically. But we want to select the Manu theme. Now we click on save. And afterwards we have to uh, recompile the theme. So we change it. And it probably takes some seconds. Now we click on save. And if we go back to the storefront now, we can see that the change was successful. So now the styling is influenced by the Manu theme. We have assigned the theme. And now how does it work with, for example, changing some basic styling? To change some basic styling, we have to go to the same location in the shop administration and now right to the change theme button, we can see the edit theme button. So we click on it and now we see that we have some options here. For example, we have multiple tabs and we have the tabs for the general settings, for the color and typography, for media layout for the header, for the footer, newsletter, button forms, and even more. So this is the, maybe the great thing about this theme, that we have enough settings. And let's say, for example, that we maybe want to, to change the main color from green to maybe a red one. So I would guess that we have to go here to color and typography. And here we can see the primary color. So this is the color we need to change. We click on it. We just pick this red here. Now we click on save. Now we take a look at the end result. And we can see that at least some buttons are red. So maybe there are different colors for different buttons. So let's go back to color and typography. It could be that maybe the color is something like a buy button color. It's a different color. We copy the color from above. We paste it here. We click now on save. Let's check out the result. Here we go. All the buttons are red. 
it really depends on the theme. It's not that every theme have, uh, has the same settings. It's always a bit different. The next example, let's say we want to change the layout. So for example, we can change the layout from this default here to the header layout search as icon navigation centered. So we click on save. And now we can see the header has changed. And yes, so basically what's really important for every theme is that after installation, you take a look on the settings and you just apply the settings as needed. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. As you can see, it's very easy to change a Shopware theme and to apply some basic styling. But if you of course need some more advanced styling, some more advanced layouts, or maybe it often makes sense to create a custom theme, then of course you need a Shopware developer. Here it makes sense to hire one. Hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel or leave a like or review below. We see us in the next tutorial. Bye.